six months later to you, bro. <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another clip view video. So there's some things that have been bothering me about this. And we're gonna solve at least one of them. I did one off camera and uh, really installing a BIOS is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like watching someone else play. It's not fun, right? It's boring. So anyways, I BIOS help, but also I needed to do something about the storage. Storage is just horrendously bad. So things that we can improve on. Obviously I need to redo these two fans. You get them to match up so I have four fans all the same RPMs um, some upgrades we can do obviously you can obviously CPU so remember we're running the Ryzen 5 2600 not the 2600x just the 2600 so obviously that one uh, I know you guys are probably sitting there saying well Joe you got Ryzen 3 out now right and why don't you go with the Ryzen 9 or, or the new Ryzen 3700 and I'm just like you know that's all good and everything I, I would but it's the new hype so of course they're gonna be a little higher than plus for what a decade now AMD's on top yeah it's been a it's been a while since AMD has done their thing so I have no problem with the second gen. The problem with the, the new stuff is, is it supported? What are you gonna have to do to tweak it to make it perform the way you want? I don't have time to sit here and, ah, because I've already done that for six months now, you know? One issue after another issue after another issue, working with Microsoft, working with Asus Tech, working with Corsair, working with, yeah, I, I'm done working with these guys. No one really knows what the other one's doing. It's kind of like, you know, uh, well, what's this hand doing or this hand don't know, you know? So, that's why we, we're gonna just stick with the Ryzen two, two, second gen, right? Because you have Ryzen first gen, that is like, you know, the first Ryzen. Second gen, which is what we're running here. Hopefully I can get up to a, the Ryzen seven. Be awesome. Storage, I kind of went and cheaped out, all right? I should have been throwing one terabytes, not this 128 gigabytes. Oh, oh well, right? You win some, you learn some. But uh, for solid state drives, I definitely see the purpose now, though. Those are quite nice, right? Now, it didn't make me stray away from using the hard disk drives. I do have one terabyte Seagate Barracuda back here. That is a boost. <laughs> um, so what else? Well, our GPU, right? Because there is no video output on the back of this IO shield, right? Their motherboard doesn't have nothing for video. That's all up to this graphics card here. And well, to be honest, the graphics card is... Well, let's take this panel off. I can show you guys a little more, right? Plus, I haven't had this panel often since I built it. So, this is going to be fun. So, boom. By the way, the case still holds up quite nice. I, I haven't had any issues. Um, motherboard still a little on the extreme side not really gotten too dusty which I was shocked being an open case but it's not bad now oh my god it's downstairs so we should be good once this comes out which it does all right we only need one piece of this glass off anyways so as you guys can see right here Got my little rubber tabs in there. Right. They just pop through the glass. Some pretty decent sized glass there. <laughs> and uh, it is kind of a tinted look to it, right? So, uh, that's all right. 
Some like it, some don't. I, I'm just like, hey, glass is a little, little more, more uh, easier to work with so you don't get all the cuts and dings and crap. So, power supply. That thing has not turned the fan at all. I know it works. I, I've pushed it and tested it and everything, so I know that's, this thing works. I just don't understand why, literally, it, it just was that. <laughs> not turning. Yes, I really do not put this thing under a lot of load. Uh, we are messing with the RM750i. And obviously this must be a really good all the way around. I know the motherboard's overkill. <laughs> the, the year, what is this? Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, so is it ten? For, for my chokes there or um, whatever right and the v core there you go yeah so that's not bad 12 of those I, of course you got two of them that are, are not actually part of that but you know it's a 10 2 whatever phase two, three, four, four, six. yeah i think it's a 10 2 phase could be wrong though, I don't know. Um, just this eight pin header up at the top is all you need. It's four pins overkill. I don't know why everyone keeps throwing these four pins on here. But let me go ahead and get this graphics card out here and we will talk about why I'm not gonna upgrade this, gra this uh, motherboard. Because, yeah. <laughs> I only have two screws holding this in, but very decent ones. So, you guys are wondering what kind of graphics card this is. This only has one eight pin PCIe. We'll pull this out. If I can, that is. <laughs> it's a little on the tough side to get at. But. There we go. Alright, so got the pin pushed down right in the back. That's always good. You do not want to just try to lift this, you will break your tabs on this. This is just plastic by the way. Alright, so we have a, I believe this is a 480. Vision Tech, yeah, RX 480. This is an 8 gigabyte card. Complies with Canadian ICES, right? Yeah, we'll, so we'll show you that. This is what the back side looks like. Of course, we've got a blower file style, sorry, blower style fan. Um, this is your CPU heatsink connection right here. So this is the back side of it. And then obviously yeah, this is the front. Um, not too shabby actually, but as you can see, I am not really getting anything out of here. This did spin the whole time, the whole, anytime the computer was on, nothing I can do there. It is an AMD <laughs> so card, obviously. So if you don't know anything about this, yes, this is an AMD, this is not NVIDIA's. Those are your two main, two video card producers right all right so now this is out of the way like i said push this back this comes out this is just my riser cable as you can see i got a little creative with my cabling here it's not going to hurt anything so over here is all my audio right so i have a supreme fx on this thing overkill on the audio side Audio is very warm, very, very live feeling. It, it makes 15 inch speakers sound incredible here. I got some old ones. I will have to do a video on those guys. Um, I really didn't use any of this BIOS uh, flashbacks or 
start and reset BIOS, right? Power reset button, whatever you want to call it. Um, do have this here, so it does have two M.2s, right? This is the Crosshair 7 Hero Wi Fi. Always go with the Wi Fi one for some reason because everyone keeps telling me you go with the Crosshair 7. <laughs> Should have gone with the Crosshair Hero 7. Wi Fi, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Okay. I'm not sure what this peg is. There's a lot of stuff on here that I'm not familiar with at all. Guessing that is in case I want to put a heat shroud over this. What it looks like. But, uh, so yeah. I can obviously upgrade the cooler here. We can go from a two fan radiator up to a three fan radiator. I actually have more than enough room. All my cabling is going in right here on this cable side right here. So all this is trying to be as clean as possible. <clears throat> all right. um, Corsair Commander Pro. Well, you heard me talk about that guy. That's been a project on its own. Um, yeah. Fans, no issues. The start button here does seem kind of like a little flimsy, but uh, nothing I can really do about that. I just don't use that much. I try to use the bigger flush buttons here on the top. Antenna has been good. I haven't I had no issues. This is an AC one, not an AX. Just the new standard, right? Um, so yeah. Try to keep cables as clean as possible so you don't see them. There's really not much I can really do with this. Um, I was trying to go with a black with a little accents, right? So a little chrome, right? Pieces. That kind of accents that piece. And, well, this is like a flat black that's more of a glossy black this guy you don't really see at all because of the graphics card so things you can improve right because obviously if we move to the 570 board we're gonna have a fan here i don't know if you guys ever uh are uh, familiar with the fans back uh, well what was that quite some time ago but yeah you have this fan going to cool your south bridge, right? Believe that? Yeah, that should be south bridge. And the fans, just like any other fan, it's gonna suck in, right? It's gonna get clogged up. You don't maintain it, because you're too busy gaming, right? Oh my goodness, right? You're not gonna be paying attention to that. It's gonna clog up. It's gonna literally cause your south bridge to get hot which all your other components get hot, just like a fan, right? That, and then eventually the fan's gonna stop working. Component's gonna get too hot, then it's gonna start frying stuff, and then you're screwed. It's the, literally the most retardest thing I've ever heard of for a motherboard, is having a fan on your south bridge. Why? Why, guys? I understand it. Because with the, going from a 470, which this is, to a 570, you're cranking out tons more power just to power your fourth gen to make them lightning fast, right? But let's be honest. Um, well, it, it's literally what's in one hand, and what's in the other. You know, you, you gotta. You, they won't balance out. Not not until uh, I guess the next board after that, which would be what X70. So, anyways, um, not too bad. Not too bad at all for this board. I'm gonna probably stick with this, probably pick me up another one. And uh, components I have here, we'll just shift over to that one. And as I upgrade this, because like I said, this is gonna be literally a process. So, what are we gonna be doing today, right? Well, like I said, we were all used to this guy, right? This is a, Western Digital Velociraptor. This is a little miniature hard drive. <laughs> but literally, I just got an expander card on here. Oh, so I can take this out. Blah, 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 right? 
and this is 800 gigabytes no 80 gigabytes okay 80 gigabytes which not really that much so i'm not going to mess with this this is just going to be my backup drive um maybe my music right because i do have about 80 gigabytes of music uh, from all kinds of generations by the way but anyways so literally you can upgrade the cpu you could change out the motherboard if you want to but let's face it i uh, i like this guy i have had no issues with this thing and <laughs> i think these heat sinks don't even need to be there because this is a very very well designed board those chips don't even get hot uh so really the motherboard's fine so cpu yes you can upgrade that ram i could add more which i plan to i want to get some more of this but holy shiza that is expensive right i i, I got it one hell of a deal on that i didn't even realize it the corsair vengeance led ram right uh, to get it in the c15 right it's just that's a lot of money like literally it, it, i was sitting here budgeting it's, do i get more ram do i get more more uh storage ram storage ram storage huh? random access memory storage well storage is getting a little high ram is okay i haven't had any issues with that but obviously when it comes to rendering and and loading biggest items and videos and that sort of thing yeah that that gets a little taxing <clears throat> so cpu ram graphics card right i could add a second one in here and do my double layered graphics card layout that's what this will look like in here I never understood why they make such nice little self rich heat sinks on there or when your graphics card goes right across the top of them. <laughs> That's sad. Um, so I just turned mine sideways. I do have a little air coming through the back side of this. So it is blowing on my components, which is kind of helping keep things nice and cool over here. But let's face it, uh, not much. Uh, there really to do with so i was thinking about going from a 480 to a 580 but i'm not too entirely sure i want to Ooh, yeah that was a display port that had a little fuzz in it but could be from messing with it over here um but yeah this thing has been silent i i absolutely love this if i did do another PC right build think about doing all white and then I'm gonna build something for it to sit on maybe uh, some type of uh, acrylic right with the light shining through it just to make it go so the white with a light maybe the light changing I think that look really cool right make it that just your little <laughs> little stand of its own there right and then use that for literally the theater room like literally that would be where I can access Hulu, Netflix, uh, all my like online video services, right? I can access YouTube and entertainment wise. So it'd just be an entertainment PC. Now I was wanting to do an MSI motherboard, right? But I have not really found any MSI motherboards that really fit the bill. They look like someone just said, Boom, there's your PCB board. Okay, everything's done. Now make it pretty with your heat sinks. And they're just like, uh, let's make a flat piece here and flat piece there. Yeah. I'm just like, no, I don't like it. I mean, Asus did a really nice job with this uh, curvatures here and everything. One MSI board that I have liked because I've always used MSI boards in the past when i was in school right doing my classes i've had like one msi no i've had two msi boards one was on the amd side one was on intel side and i was using it to literally do my tests and you know everything one was 
more for entertainment. The other one was the X99 gaming or thing, and then I was just like, eh, it's cool. My N99 was more like my color scheme, and you know, it, it just matched. It looked better. Um, but the sad thing was my MD MSI motherboard outperformed like crazy. Like literally. <laughs> You could throw whatever operating system at, even though that board was a good 15 years old, 20 years old, something like that. I don't know. It was a really old board, man. It just was fanatic. It was great. Very fast. Um, lots and lots of headroom on it. And I think I was using like a Athlon or a Phenom 2, something like that. So not even a really high end processor mm. that's kind of where my computer building started so after that you can add your LED lights like I said that's not gonna be anything performance wise um, so let's see maybe a bigger power supply if you're struggling there but like I said I'm struggling with memory so we've talked about Hard disk drives, right? We've talked about the SSDs. And then I went ahead and just said, screw it. And got me some M.2s. And I really hope I uh, read my manual right because I've found out there's tons of different M.2s out there, different sizes different uh, connection pieces this one obviously is taped like crazy and this is what I'm talking about with boxing right you think something that's gonna be a uh, several hundred dollars would be a lot more better packaged than this this is this is sad but this is 3d NAND five years uh, says 3,400 megabytes per second. That is read and it's up to. So you're not guaranteed that. Um, supposedly that's where the 570 boards come in because anything that's fourth generation, literally RAM, your, your storage, all that is gonna be literally like grab and go now I was thinking about going with the Samsung's but the Samsung's just don't seem to really make any sense here um, but yeah I mean let's take a look at this guy right very clean this doesn't even look used let's look at the pins on here if it has it's been a light use I do see a little scrape on the gold tacks there but look at the back side of this guys I don't know if you can see that but let me grab my monitor just so I can make sure you guys can see this so there is nothing on the back side of this thing and that is one terabytes guys that's how ridiculous this is let's shine a light more over here okay that is crazy ah this is where I need a different monitor stand so, nothing on the back side. In fact, it's so flat, it's taking the light away. I can't even get a good, there we go. See, nothing on the back. It's very short. This is what amazes me when it comes to this stuff. I've, I've never had my hands on an M.2 before. And, yeah, now I see what all the hype's all about. So if I do pick up another motherboard, I think I'm gonna definitely be putting two more of these. But trying to figure out what M.2 is going to be compatible with this, which is going to be really give you the performance and speed ups. Yeah, I I was really lost, but now I'm found. <laughs> so this is the Western Digital Black. Um, I did not choose to go with black. Uh, in my mind, Western Digital is a very well-known brand. They've been doing storage, like I said, look at this, for quite some time now. I think they know what they're doing. 
this. And then it even has a QR code. That's interesting. Alrighty. I do have a stamp on the back of this. That's probably make a model, right? Dun, dun, dun. Maybe serial number. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, there's really not much on here for info. I've seen people pull this off. The only reason I would remove this is if I'm doing like a heat sink on both sides. So you put a thermal pad here, you put a thermal pad here, your heat sink goes over the top, and then that slides in on the board, right? Um, I think I might actually have that going on with this top one. So they're gonna install this one first. I do have two, so this would be fun. But let's take a look at what else we get with this guy. Let's set that in there. It's kind of weird. I really do feel like this has been open and gone through. That's okay though. For the price I paid is like literally the cheapest. Well, not the cheapest. There was maybe two or three other ones that were competing for this guy. And I just said, I know Western Digital. I will give them my money any day. Let's do this. Okay, well, obviously people, if this has been used, no one has really used this booklet. So, what are we looking at here? Oh, okay. There we go, all right. 800 ASK, 4WDC, Espanol, I got the numbers. Um, save this information, okay. Binding individual arbitration, arbitration and class action waiver agreements, obtaining service, uh, warranties. Um, what this really looks like is like, uh, damn, I, my shit screwed up. How do I go about getting this rectified? That looks like that's how you do it. So, okay. Thought that was instructions. Or where's the instructions at then? That was mind boggling. There's nothing else in there. <laughs> okay. They, they just expect you to and go. It's not really. I mean, look how thin this is, guys. That's that's thinner than your wafers. <laughs> it's gonna make me hungry now. Oh well. Anyways, that is thin. So I got real. Got a motherboard's like four times thicker than this. That's how thin this is. So ah uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about. If this is correct, I can see on this one this is. So, oh, my last build video, I kind of just kept you at distance and then just did a kind of my own little version of how I do it. I'm actually thinking about pulling you guys closer into the action. We'll get the lights hooked up a little more brighter right on this guy and I can show you guys exactly how to do it. So. All right, so now we got the M.2 here. This one actually has a shield. I wish I had another shield for the one that goes right here, guys. So that's my second spot right here. So we're gonna take this one off first. We're gonna get the first one installed and then we will literally install the second one. This is why I like the open case design because everything Oh, that's a small, small screw. Holy cow. Holy cow, that is small. Okay, do not lose that. Oh, just throw it in this tray. There we go. All right, let's get this other one. All right. Okay. Now I got this off, right? You flip it. There is our thermal pad. So, i get my M.2 in here, I need to remove this, and then we should be good to go. Um, wait, 
way. Oh, it's backwards. Okay. I thought it was going to literally go. Oh, I thought it was going to line up just like this one was down here and go that way. Right? There's nothing there. It's backwards. So, if I remember right, they say this just wiggles in. You want it to go in straight. You don't want to wiggle up and down, right? You don't want to break this socket. Now we just push it down. Okay. Mmm, a little, a little nervous with this one, but that's okay. So. This is really soft stuff, guys. I don't even know how to describe what this feels like. Oh, no. You can tell that I'm not a natural, guys. All right. Well, I'm we'll gonna pop this guy's cherry now. Gonna we'll pop that boy chair. Okay, we're gonna put the... Thinking the best way here, screw, screwdriver. No. Arr, this is definitely. Oh, and this is sticky. That's not even that good. All right. Don't expect this M.2 to get that hot. You never know. So I just want to get it turned to where it starts. I don't want to strip it, so what I do is I spin backwards, or like you're loosening it. You'll feel that thread kind of just, right, jump. And then when I know I felt a jump, that's when I go forward. And that way I never, ever end up. That is crazy stuff. All right. That's that. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, a wipe down. I think we can see. There's nothing there. Okay. So, one down. Ah. As you can see, that is some crazy, crazy tape. Yeah. Uh, really thin. L A I R D. Says remove, 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 remove. <laughs> over and over, all over the place. Different patterns. Actually, you can probably see that a little better now. So, interesting. All right, we're gonna get our second box now. Right here in front of me. And this one's the same deal. Okay. Only difference with this one is we don't have to worry about this heat sink. So. Oh, I do have my screw. I did keep that in. Nice. Okay. So let's see. I think I'm gonna have to move that backwards, but I'm not sure. Okay. A very tiny screw. I'm glad I kept that in there. And then what I've always been told, well, I don't really have to worry about the heat piece of that. Try to get creative with my wire management here. This is actually my uh, micro USB cable that allows me to control the functions of this. It's running here under my self bridge here because it is a little bit raised, but it's not really messing with anything. That's a really good thick piece going between, and I had to really be careful with those pins. But as you can see, the cord sits lower than this foam pad, so I should be good. I just need to figure out. Oh, I did my homework. Good. Look at that. All right. So like I said, just get on the back side, push it in. You're going to go in kind of a, I don't know, I guess that's a, 
Uh, it's a little less than 45. 45 be about out to here. I'd call that maybe a 35. It's definitely not 25. All right. This is going to be the tricky part. This is where my next screwdriver is coming handy, guys. <laughs> So, there it is, hear that click. So now I know that I have not. I'm not gonna double thread that, so now I'm in. Just finger tight, you don't wanna go too tight, guys. Like I said, that is really thin. That thing's just, just to keep it in so it doesn't back itself out. And that's it. We have just now installed the M.2s. Oh, that's awesome. Clearly. Ah, goodness. How do you fit so much power in a small form factor? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So that is how you install M.2s. That is the most easy. It's memory. Uh, yeah. Storage, guys. That's the easiest storage I've ever had to hook up. Comes to these guys. You know, watch out, you could actually bend these things, right? Kind of see how they have like a L pattern right there. So yeah, you're not watching out. Cram that in there and you can ruin it. This, uh, literally, it looked like I had to make sure that the tooth side is literally down. And what I'm talking about is this guy down here. I had to make sure that was but that goes and well that was easy easy so now if everything is that easy it means that uh something's about to go wrong <laughs> and something tells me that's going to be where it comes to getting into windows 10. i gotta find these guys format them and then hopefully I can just do a disk image of my operating system, slap it onto this, should be good. I don't know, maybe I will do a raid of these two. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. So yeah, maybe operating system on what, and then whatever I want to access on that one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore, guys. <laughs> But yeah, uh, so far as this goes, this has been really, really easy. It's nice and thick. Haven't had any issues. I just gotta make sure everything seats in properly. And obviously that goes in nice and flat. That was the hard part one for the graphics card. But as you can see, everything there is fantastically good. So, Get the graphics card on. Yeah, I know, I'm a little sunburned. Uh, that's what happens when you do a lot of yard work. But, all right, so, the way I put graphics cards in is I line them up on the bottom, make sure I'm good here on the sides. I grab here and right in the middle of the card, right where the, the piece is in here, I'll squeeze it together. Boom. I could feel that one's through, but obviously that's there. And if you guys literally just stop there, shame on you. Because this is how GPU sag happens. And then you break these, these lanes, right? <laughs> you don't want to do that. So always screw down your cards. Uh, I always do these ones by fingers with my fat fingers because I can <laughs> and that way I know I'm not going to strip them out I can feel the resistance and do something before because this ain't really well, aluminum I think it is boom all right so we're good there good there power 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 okay so tighten tighten so, uh, um, now that we have the storage thing done, that's actually 
can't even tell I did anything different, which is nice. Either this or this. This really hasn't, I don't know, I don't feel like that has given me much uh, so far as when it comes to processing power. Uh, I haven't had any issues with my screen. Then again, I'm just running regular 1080p <laughs> screens that you can get from anywhere. So, yeah, yay for that, I guess. Uh, it's just regular cable. I do need a plug in power. So, just regular A pin. I line that up straight down. I do not do any of this little angle, angle, twisty twist thing. That down on the back side. And then that is that. Wow. Cleanish clean can get. Um I do feel like moving that up here, but let's face it. Uh, that might be switched out. I'm gonna probably go with a little slimmer design one. Stick it. Maybe right under here or something, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But change out the disk drive because that's just too big and bulky. Um, so maybe that could, that'd be the next thing. So like I said, this Vengeance LED from Corsair, just white LEDs. The red one's cheap, $89, but on eBay. But the red, uh, the white ones here, those, those were like 200 and something dollars. Brand new on freaking Amazon, but going to eBay, I couldn't find anyone that wanted to sell them. Someone had for $100 and then said, make me an offer or bid, right? So I made an offer. I even put down 100 and nothing happened. If you're gonna sell stuff on eBay, work with the person they're especially sitting there making you offers you can put that decline and give a reason why I say hey you need to come up with at least this much money and that's where our sweet spot is guys right that's why I don't like eBay if they could fix that that would be great it does have a little tension on it but I think that literally has to do with yeah, the card here. I would point that out with my build video in the first one. Don't know what you were thinking. Shame on you, Thermal Tech. Actually, yeah, that was Thermal Tech. <laughs> okay. Um, Case-wise, if I was gonna do, do another motherboard, obviously I would need another case. I would do, oh yeah, maybe the, the coarse air crystal, right? I think that would be nice. Wide open, right? it's regular box shape, right? It's nothing dramatic as this guy here, but uh, it does give me some more options. Oh, a little dust, look at that. It does think that's it mostly because that's all textured and stuff it just needs just a cloth across it uh, maybe these guys can use a little wipe down because my fingerprints that's why i like the black texturedness there you can touch it nothing happens you can touch it with this shit happens but anyways thanks for watching clip view until next time when we do some more upgrading